you for joining me for this edition of Weather Northeastern. Lucas from Linden, Texas. He's in the Dallas Fort Worth area showing off a nice, really nice lunar eclipse here from back on the 20th here at the beginning of the week. So very nice capture here, Lucas, from the Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth area of North Central Texas. So showing off some really nice lunar eclipse. Let's get right into the all important forecast. This takes us through Wednesday into early Thursday. We'll be dealing with some systems here into the Midwest, but here across the Northeast, the big story will be ice for your morning commute right around Wednesday morning into early Wednesday afternoon, starting off with snow and sleet about up to an inch with up to a tenth of an inch of freezing rain, ice accumulation. So we'll have to watch for that here, especially across central Pennsylvania on northeastward towards New York State and New England. So not talking about a blockbuster storm here, but we'll still have to deal with some problems across the area. So let's get right into the all important precipitation forecast across North America. We're pretty much void here across the West. The main story is the Pacific Northwest and here across the Eastern part of the United States. That's where the storminess will lie from the Great Lakes southward to the Mississippi River Valley on eastward to the Northeast. So let's get right into, I'm gonna show you a more generalized, more large scope jet stream map here, pattern. Take a look from Northern Canada down to Mexico. Look at this trough really beginning to carve out across the eastern two thirds of the North American continent. The polar cell really starts to drop south here over the next couple weeks. And this pattern will be a generalized pattern through the next two weeks. I expect winter to really make a return very strong here. So the winter weather updates will be much more frequent here at my medium marks weather northeastern so get forward to looking to that and if you've been void of a lot of snow that should really change over the next couple weeks here especially heading into the end of january into early february things really look promising for snowstorms and extra cold air let's get right into the snowfall maps here this takes us through about Thursday, most of this falling on Wednesday across the Northeast. Yes, we're dealing with up to an inch of accumulation, maybe a bit more here up in the Adirondacks and the White Mountains and the Berkshires for that matter. We may be dealing with more on the order of three to five inches in some areas. But the big story here is going to be the ice totals. Up to a tenth of an inch of ice here expected, especially from about the Pennsylvania Turnpike, Southern Pennsylvania area to Interstate 80, northeastward Poconos, Catskills, north central Pennsylvania, into portions of the southern tier of New York, the Mohawk Valley, and over towards the Adirondacks and up into western New England and northern New England here. We will be dealing with ice accumulation and the big rule of, st of the story here is the further north you go, the, the cold air gets thicker, so more accumulations, maybe up to more like a tenth to uh, up to a quarter inch here in northern areas from the Mohawk Valley on northeastward. So let's get right into the forecast, starting off with your Wednesday. There is that snow to sleet to freezing rain across the morning hours into early afternoon before this warm front really moves to the northeast here at winds out and changes most of this area later in the day to re plain rain as we get near 40 in many areas even coastal areas as well southern new england pretty much staying rain but it's these northern areas like the adirondacks the mohawk valley on northeastward here the White Mountains, the Berkshires, will be dealing with winter time up here. Snow to sleet to freezing rain. Some areas may switch over to a light drizzle or rain towards evening, but for most of the day, you'll stay wintry into your Thursday. Winter really starts to kick in as that frontal boundary slowly pushes to the east. The same one that we had the warm front push through, the cold front that's attached to it moves to the east here. And it will be backwards from Wednesday. Thursday will slowly transition the sleet or the rain back to a, a mixture of snow, sleet, and rain, and then back to all snow here. So we'll get a quick, maybe up to an inch here in these darker blue areas, especially along the I-81 corridor 
up towards portions of the eastern Lake Ontario region in the Adirondacks. We could pick up a quick inch of slushy accumulation during the early afternoon hours as this front slowly changes the rain to snow before ending abruptly and then maybe we'll get some lake effect response here off Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. And then for your Friday, we have a more generalized, we'll get those proverbial lake effect snow bands here off Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. Temperatures really plummet here on Friday. Most areas only staying, getting up into the 20s, some upper teens as well here into the North Country. We could have an area of about one to three, two to four inches off Lake Erie, Lake Ontario. I'll get into more details on Friday in my Thursday forecast here that I'll have my Thursday update. But for the most part, we'll be dealing with winter time into your Saturday. We kind of have high pressure crust overhead. It shuts down any of these little lake effect streamers here across Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. But for most areas, we'll start to warm up towards the lower to mid 20s, maybe even some upper 20s near 30 here, the lower Susquehanna River Valley and towards the Lake Plain. We really begin to warm up here a bit. Keep in mind, next week we really have another reinforcing shot, and we'll have to watch early next week. There might be some sort of coastal development trying to organize here, but some of the models really not catching on to that pattern. So let's take a look at my five-day outlook for my hometown viewers. Binghamton to Scranton's upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. All points in between along the Susquehanna River points here. Take a look at Wednesday. Snow to sleet to freezing rain to rain. Up to an inch of snow and sleet. Uh, t up to a tenth of an inch of freezing rain. And then up to a quarter to a half an inch of rain. So pretty much all precipitation types on your Wednesday. Winter weather advisories are in effect into your Wednesday night. Rain continues into Thursday morning rain. And then right around noon or 1 p.m., changes over to snow, maybe an inch of snow before ending as temperatures fall towards 32 by 5 p.m. Into your Friday, colder and blusterier, maybe some scattered lake effect snow showers, uh, maybe up to an inch in some area, or yeah, up to an inch in some areas, but most areas stay pretty much on the dry side into your Saturday. We might see some breaks of sun finally on Saturday cold only get in the upper teens and on your Sunday there it is maybe a little bit of some lake effect response here as temperatures warm up into the mid 20s that'll do for this edition of weather northeastern don't forget to like me on facebook media mark subscribe to me on youtube at media mark comments twitter at wx northeastern google plus at media mark go to weathernortheastern.com or mediamark.com that'll do for this edition of weather northeastern <music>